make a video on the block buffer stuff because I made a lot of posts yesterday and like it's kind of hard to explain in a tweet and uh, it left a lot of people confused and people would like message me and stuff or like at me and they would be like oh well because this player thinks it's cool it helps honest player or whatever but like I'm here to explain like why it's not good and to separate like opinions from like something people should like really agree with so the game doesn't suck ass um, okay so let me like break it down for you guys so for example I got Gears on reversal down one and Liu Kang's one two is plus three right so in order for me to frame trap back one like make it at least or not even frame trap for it to at least trade with the down one I need to be frame perfect right like if I just mash like let me mash like let me mash back one while I'm doing one two like while the two is being blocked I get beat clean right because you have to wait until your uh, move is over in order to get to come out like cleanly right okay so I have to like actually be frame perfect after he blocks my one two to get the trade like you can go try this for yourself Stop blocking. Oh yeah, because I like the core room stop blocking after. You can go try this for yourself. And to do it, you uh you go to record and you set it on the fifth slot, or I think it's the sixth, which is custom get up reversal, and then you just make gears down one, you reset, and then you put it on all block, reversal on custom reversal. And then you do Luke Kang's plus three string and try to trade with back one. And you'll see that, like, it's actually one frame to get it to trade. There I got it. There I got it. There I got beat out. There I get beat out. Beat out. Okay. Now, switch to Gearus. And have Liu Kang do, um... Maybe this isn't the best example because it'll take a second to get it to come out like frame perfect. Let me think of like another example. Um, okay, so like his stance, right? This move is minus eight. So like Gears' jab is, is seven frames, right? And the way NRS games work, um, blocking, releasing block eats a frame. So punishing a minus eight move with an eight frame move is impossible. Um, unless it's a reversal special. So, like, with Gears' jab, punishing and minus 8 move with a 7 frame jab should be the same difficulty as what I was just doing with Liu Kang. It's one frame, right? So, let's look. Um, I got him on record, right? Yeah. Now, like, obviously, like, I can't, um, I can't, uh, show you guys how easy it is well you guys can see like I'm not messing it up but um if you try it for yourself and you try that other situation where Liu Kang did the plus three thing on block and it was one frame you see it's much easier as the guy on defense and the reason for that is the the buffer system in the game so when you're in block stun on this game if you do a move within a certain amount of frames before it was two uh, or three I think um the game would still count it as frame perfect as long as you got it within that window. And they buffed it to five, which um I think according to Dizzy on Twitter actually means like you – like, okay, so since it's a one-frame punish, that means you actually have six frames. Five plus six – or five plus six. Five plus one to get it within that like window where the game will be like, okay, you did it in one frame. It's perfect. And the reason this is bad – now people say this is in Tekken, so it's good. But the thing about Tekken, number one – is it has like a million moves per character but even if you want to make that argument and be like oh well it's good in Tekken you know it helps you punish things it should be an MK2 I won't even like argue that right now okay like if you want to have that opinion I don't agree I think the buffer should be three frames or two but you know if you want to have that opinion you know go ahead but basically like the thing that I think is really bad is now the um, the situations are always going to be lopsided in the favor of the person who blocked an attack like if you do something that's plus one plus two plus three on block like on offense you almost have to block always now because the person on defense they have like a five to six frame window to where the game will just be like oh you were perfect 
uh, it doesn't matter if you were off by that many frames. Whereas the person on offense, they have to be frame perfect every single time. That's my issue. Like, I don't care that there's a buffer for, in blocks then. Like, I really don't. Like, people are being like, why do you hate that? It helps me punish. It's like tech. I don't really care about that that much. It's more that the person on offense is so, like, at a disadvantage for, like, no reason on block. I really think, like, they should just make the buffer window, like, either keep it at 5 for the guy in block stun and, like, move it to 3 from 0 for the guy doing something on block into something or, like, just make them both 3. Like, that's my solution. You know, let me know if you agree or not. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video fits into a Twitter thing. Uh, later.